A year ago, Floydson made a video asking the question, how far down can you go in the mines on the very first day? That's spring 5th, year 1. You get the first four days to gather forage and equipment for the task, but you only get one day to reach the deepest floor level you can. Well, after a full year, I know I'm a little slow at uploading stuff, but here's the answer. For this, I ended up using the classic farm. I messed around with the hilltop and the four quarters farm for the extra copper you can get in the quarry, but the issue I had with the farms was the little to no room to clay farm, which I'll be doing a lot of to get everything I want for the trip. The other major choice is the use of a seed. I'm normally one to not like using a seed, but for this to work, I require Gus to sell a specific dish of the day. So instead of having to wait a headaching five minutes for Gus to open each day just to see if the seed would work, I just ended up using a seed that would have what I wanted. So instead of having to wait five minutes for him to open every time only to be disappointed by his stock, I'm just using a seed to bypass this check. Sue me, I value my time. At the start of day one, I immediately head to Cindersap Forest to gather spring onions for extra energy to clay farm. Wow, what a surprise. He's clay farming yet again in another challenge. It's almost like it's the only good way to make money early. As basically everybody is aware by now, I'm exploiting how the game determines on whether or not you get a piece of clay from a till or not. Due to it not being completely random, it has a pattern, and with this pattern, I can almost guarantee to get a piece of clay from every single till of the land, resulting in a mass amount of clay which can then be sold to Robin for 20g each. If your only goal was money, you can easily net 10,000 gold a day from this. And after fully exploiting public land for profit, I made my way to Clint's to buy a single copper ore. This is to get the furnace recipe tomorrow so I can smelt copper bars. I also continued up north to stop by Robbins to sell my dirt I just found for a whopping 3,400 gold. I also barricaded her door with a chair, but we don't have to talk about that yet. With this newly acquired money, I headed to the saloon to get salads and spicy eels. Salads would be used for energy for, you guessed it, even more clay farming. While spicy eels will be used for the move speed bonus it provides, along with the luck bonus to make ladders appear more often. This is the dish I specifically wanted, and the only reason I'm using a seed. It's arguably the best mining food buff in the game, and really is only beaten by magic rock candy and lucky lunch in certain cases. The rest of day one was me clay farming, on my farm this time, to be able to afford everything I need for tomorrow. After shipping 150 clay, I began day two. In the morning, I started breaking rocks on the farm for three things, coal, geodes, and most importantly, mining XP. The coal was to smelt copper bars, the geodes was to get extra copper and coal, but I desperately wanted mining level two before day five. This was to be able to craft staircases to avoid monster floors. This level requirement is pretty strict as each rock only gives one mining XP. 6 if coal is dropped. 380 XP is needed for mining level 2, so I have to break almost every stone on my farm to be able to reach mining level 2. After getting 5 geodes and 5 coal, I made my way to Clint's to open up the geodes and to buy the copper needed to make a furnace and smelt 5 bars. If it's not obvious by now, I want to upgrade my pickaxe before day 5. The issue with this is if I don't want to wait for Clint's to open on the 5th, I need to start upgrading it on the 2nd. And the bigger issue is that it's Tuesday, so Robin isn't working, making money a huge issue. I am listing off a bunch of issues that upgrading the pickaxe on day 2 has, making it sound impossible, but that's just me being a YouTuber and not telling you the obvious fix. Remember when I put the chair in front of Robin's bedroom door? Yeah, that just blocks her in, never letting her leave her room unless I remove it. And the area she has to be in in order to use her shop just so happens to extend in front of the counter, so as she walks by to get to her exercise class, I can still use her shop. Yeah, NPCs are stupid in this game. So after exploiting the beach yet again while smelting 5 bars at the same time, I freed Robin from her room, sold all the clay I collected from the beach, and made my way to Clint's for him to upgrade my pickaxe. I made a quick stop at the saloon on my way home to buy more salads, and continued playing in the dirt for the rest of the day. Day 3 was the same thing, clay farm of the beach, sell clay to Robin, finish the day playing in the mud on my farm, and sleeping. Day 4 was the final prep day and it's normally smooth sailing from here, but oh boy was day 4 a nightmare. And it's not because it was hard to do. It starts the same as every other day with clay farming on the beach, but afterwards I would pick up my copper pickaxe from Clint, head to Robin's, 
buy as much stone as I possibly can. The stone will be used for staircases. I ended up with around 300 stone, meaning I'm able to skip three floors. And once returning to my farm, I finished clearing up the remaining stone to reach mining level two. So I'm able to use the stone I just bought in the first place. Sounds easy. I just did the same thing the last three days. But why is day four so hard? Day four is so hard because of the issue is I want good luck on day five. I want the highest possible daily luck as this affects the rates at which I can find ladders. There are a few ways I can get the daily luck I want, but none I really want to do as they require looking into the properties of the save file. So the method I decided on using was what we call save scumming. Stardew automatically makes a backup of the save file of the previous day in case of the unthinkable happening. With a simple renaming of the files, you can revert back to the previous day, allowing me to try to get good luck as many times as I want. The issue, every time I don't get a good luck day, I have to redo the entirety of day four, which takes me around 15 minutes to do every time. And if I want the best possible daily luck, I only have about a 15% chance of getting it. So you can see my issue. You can view save scumming as cheating, and honestly, I agree with you, it is pretty much cheating, but I'd rather not redo the first three days again if I don't hit a 15% chance. So for my own sanity, I thought this would be the best answer to the solution. Keyword, thought. If I wanted to get the best daily luck for day five, I need to hit a 15% chance. That's not a very high chance, but not unreasonable. However, I did not expect it to take me 10 tries to get even a good luck day, which is a 40% chance to hit. I lost a 40% chance 10 times in a row. I was at my wits end. Thankfully, even though it took me 10 tries to get a good luck day, I still got a best luck day, so I was pretty happy in the end. Anyways, that's enough for me. I think the dive itself is best left uncut, so I hope you enjoy the rest of the run. I knew I wasn't going to do it first try, but... You can hope. Yeah, you just break any rock with the pickaxe. The big thing is getting a club on 24, I feel like. I should just instant reset if I don't get a club on 24. Omeka, oh, uh, the ice floor is so much quicker. Yeah, you can't um, pause on the first. Great start. Definitely not sarcasm. Ah, uh, that's my fault. Right, I don't have magnet ring. I gotta be a uh, gotta be pausing a bit more often to make sure I'm picking this stuff up. the dagger. This music specifically from Genshin. See, that's why I want to break rocks on that floor. Like, you can significantly high roll 
a very easy to find ladder. There might be a freebie on this floor. I was paying a little bit of attention to the geodes, but not like total attention. It 100% isn't. I'm just gonna ladder it. Every time that you go down the floor, the in-game timer doesn't actually stop. So every time that I go down a floor, I'll pause because the, this in-game clock is still going for a short bit. And you can't move during it, but you can pause during it. So every time I do that, I will save about a second. And when you do that 120 times, that is... 120 seconds saved right that's two minutes i have two i will gain two extra minutes of being able to go down floors but it's a little less than that but my point like the idea behind it still stands Stop ignoring gray Boo. They are fine. Uh, I hate that I went top right here without actually looking at the floor because there's probably a freebie on it. Imagine having this much luck and it still takes you forever to find a uh, ladder. Really? Like, I want to reset, but I don't. Yeah, but the pace is just gonna die. <laughs> the pace is gonna die and I have like no copper anyways. <laughs> with it. It's fine. I don't want to bother killing these guys. They'll just take too fucking long. I was going to ladder if I didn't see a freebie within like the next three seconds there. I thought about laddering as soon as I didn't get a ladder at the top. Probably gambler's fallacy now. I think that's a forest sword spawn, but I don't think it's worth it at the same time. Uh, time to keep my eyes peeled. There's a freebie, I see it. Just low on copper, so I kind of wanted it. skip this floor if I have to because I fucking hate this floor.
Copper for bombs, yes. Just broke the rocks at the start, I guess. I don't think I missed the ladder there. I just laddered this floor apparently. Stupid mistake. It could have only been like an hour behind, which is like workable. But oh well. What can you do other than just hope for freebies? didn't see that freebie. Out of my way, please. Let me through. Let me through. And I wish I laddered. Ah! You skip on the next floor, though. I'm having to run to the end of that floor. Big. I break the big out oh. when I break the big rock there I just assume that I'm gonna get a freebie from the rock and free stone even worth my time currently I just got bailed out of a bad decision be real at this point. I need to calm down. Why oh, doesn't it go off? I still have six freebies I could use. Oh, wow. 
extra magnetism. I was probably on that guy's hip box. Ah, you slowed me, you bitch! Free. Um, uh, both of these sides kind of suck. Got bailed out. I was honestly about to ladder that. Just gonna throw cherry bomb. I figured it was there, but uh, I'll probably ladder this floor. Want to make sure I pick up my cherry bombs after that. Great. Luckily, with the copper pickaxe, these rocks still take the same amount of hits to break the only issue is we're gonna see much less enemies to give us freebies and hopefully uh we don't get screwed on the very first lava floor that bodes well Combo, that's a yikes. Fine, only thirty five more floors. Five more floors, it's fine. Get lucky. I just like. <sighs> this floor because it's like i feel like it's just 100 safer to run to the end but you can so much high roll it if you uh get a ladder right at the start Squid Kid doesn't drop you anything good, even though it has quite a high chance of dropping you a bunch of big bombs.
Oh, my pause didn't go off. Ow. Big issue is, is we might, uh, run out of juice soon. And that is what I'm concerned about. We don't even need the star drop. We're skipping the star drop this time. Don't need it. Waste of time. That guy really just... I love how fast I am, even though I'm slowed. Of salads. We have plenty of food. Here's our infested floor. One infested floor on the day. I got two ladders left. And 15 floors. I also have six cherry bombs. Oh, you, of course you give me a crab. I love how that cherry bomb was so poorly placed that it only broke me one rock, but it was the one rock that had the fucking ladder. Oh, we're almost there. We got two hours for 10 floors. Oh, the, oh this should be free at this point. Cope. Get me out. Oh, no. Oh, do I skip this floor? I absolutely hate this floor. No, we got out. We got off of it. I have enough cherry bombs to uh, get us to where we want. I a little low. We'll have one more cherry bomb after this. Possibly get a third ladder. Oh, got extra cherry bomb. I think that I think this is a wrap. Keep in mind I can still just ladder two floors. And you know what? Fuck this floor. Who needs it? Quit kid, come here. Oh man, crazy. Oh man, am I gonna make it? Woe's me. Easy clap, only two tries. It was harder to get the good luck day than it was to actually complete 100, 120 floors. Ah, uh, this game is wonderful sometimes. Absolutely wonderful sometimes. Well, there you have it. The answer to the question. You can, in fact, go 120 floors on the very first day of the mines. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel greatly. With that, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe out there, and peace.